The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician's Hour. This is the Tuesday edition, November the 5th. Very exciting. Um, tell you why it's very exciting. When I thought that uh, it just couldn't get better for... Uh, attendees of my webinar on Friday, my all-day webinar. This is the Master Trader Series that we have here at TFNN. This is on the chap wave. This is the core methodology. These are the concepts of higher peaks, the lower troughs, the notation, the importance of peak D. I'll show that today. Uh, hey, look at this. This is the chart of the E-minis. There's a peak D, pulls back. There's a peak D. It's the fourth highest peak. There's a peak D. Just sneaks to an E, pulls back. I've typed in here a very bold in my upcoming all-day webinar Friday, <clears throat> I will go into why rectangle formations can last a lot longer than your patience or money if traded incorrectly. It's just I couldn't tell you how many times I've mentioned we're in a trading, uh, we're in a rectangle formation. We have seen, I'll never forget, there was one particular 10-day period where as bad as everything sounded, and then as good as everything sounded, the E-minis stayed in a trading range, an incredible trading range for 10 days. It just stuck right in between this narrow confine, narrowing context of where it had come from, and it just stayed there. And you wonder, how <clears throat> trades overnight as well. How does it do that? How does it even know where the resistance is at 1764? What was the high today? The high this morning earlier was 1764. What did I tell my subscribers that the, the support would be? What was the low today? 1750.50. What did I say? Between 1751 and 1750, there'll be strong support. And there's that bounce. Folks, these are the techniques that I'll be teaching coming up <clears throat> this Friday about the on-balance volume, about the MACD, the stochastic, how you go from a buy signal to a buy mode, how we've got so many stocks, I mentioned them yesterday, fantastic gains over the last, even the last week and a half, where you've seen these stocks, besides the market just going nowhere, these stocks are up 10%, 15%, 25% in one case, just recent purchases. How does that happen? Well, there's a methodology that I use, and the methodology is uh, part of my CD, Introducing the Chapman Wave um, Methodology book. You know what? This is the last day of the special. The special is seven ninety five. Up until today, it's going to be five ninety five. I'm throwing in my CD at $249 value. I'm giving you a month of my opening call service, 128 value. Anyone who's been subscribing uh, this month has got possibly a whole year's worth of, of gains. Um, not only that, you have 30 days to access the course archive. It's available online at tfnn.com. 30 days. You will receive my CD. We'll send it off as soon as we can, as soon as you sign up. We'll be sending them off. You don't have to have them for Friday. I'm going to be going, for instance, right here. Look, here's the CD. I've already been working on very intensely at my, uh, my, my program for Friday. I want to show how you can look at the bars. You don't need candles. You don't need anything. You just need higher highs and lower, tr and lower lows. Those are the trusts. How do you identify the start? Always look to the left, most obvious, lowest low bar. Start the count. What does the count mean? I anticipate going to at least a PD. It could go to an E, an F, and even a G. But the object of this course is to get you to D and then to show you the parameters to look for and what to watch for if it's going to go higher and how many days you've got before you've got a really good signal. Now look at this. The book answers the questions of, of the wave count. A, B, C, D, pulls back, then it goes A, B, C, D, and then, as the song says, even the anticipated C and D, that's when it flashes a cautionary light, but all you've got to do is make sure it stops real tight. Suddenly it goes to E and F, a bell rings so loud it can make you deaf, so what you're going to do, which way to go, you sell at the high and you buy at the low, well, that's the song. Um, and then it shows you the synopsis of the process. Now, what's very important about what I'm talking about at this particular moment is that 
we actually have a short position in the Dow on an ETF, which is still doing fine. Not great, but fine. But we've had it for days, for about five, six days. That's unusual to be short <clears throat> in such a powerful market and still be in the money. And now we've had an opportunity to raise the, to, to raise the stop so that it, you can go long. This ETF is actually 300% long. You can go long this short ETF. In other words, the ETF is made up of short positions in the Dow, of the, all the Dow stocks, multiplied by three. And that's what we've been using. And unless it gaps up tomorrow, uh, the Dow gaps up tomorrow, we, we should be able to at least make a few pennies if we are wrong. And if by a couple of days' time, still hasn't taken out the all-time high, we will be looking okay. But I, I didn't want to just go through that. I wanted to tell you something that just came about. Tiger dollars. Right on the front page of TFN, besides my special. This is the last day to get my special. Not the last day to get the Tiger dollars. But those Tiger dollars <clears throat> tells you that if you bought the equivalent of my course, you will actually get a bonus. In other words, if you spend $500, you get 625 it turns out, I don't want to make it complicated, and my eyes glaze over when it gets too complicated. Just put it this way. If you buy the Tiger Dollars today for $500, not only will you get this incredible savings, not only will you get my CD worth $249, not only will you get my $128 monthly subscription, you will also be saving $95, and you'll have $30 of your Tiger Dollars left. Oh, eyes glaze over. That's fine. Just remember, this is an incredible day to get I, I have to tell you, you're going to be getting my 30-something years of experience in the Chapman Wave as, a, as another method, another way of looking at the market. I know that, so I, I have it right here, I've got, just arrived a few minutes ago at, 11, at 10.58. Hi, Basil. I'm really having trouble with the wave catch on GSAT. Could you either go over it on your show today or send me back a note as to what the monthly and weekly are at? Thank you. I started the count back at point twenty two low on May the 2012. Is this too far back? Uh, sincerely, and tells me Larry. And then it says, P.S. Love all your shows, analysis and system. I mean, I get these all the time. I sometimes read them on the air because they are questions that have been asked. But I tell you something. I, as I'm going through this, I'm just taking a lot. I've done it so many times. I could do this. You could actually wake me up at midnight with not a single script, and I could go through the whole seven and a half hours methodically right through every single thing I need to do. I always accomplish what I need to do. Most of the time, I have not a clue which way I'm going to go from the moment I start. I do have an outline. This time, I'm making it so precise that I'm going to focus I want you to ask questions. The moment you answer a question, you type in your question, I will answer it immediately. You cannot skip a stage. You've got to realize that very often. The question that you want to ask is the very question that others are going to want to ask. So let's run the numbers and we go to our callers, and I'll tell you that the Dow is down 38 at uh, 15,600 on deeper this morning. I'm impressed with this. First of all, here's the E-mini. Look how the nine-period moving average is holding. It's also saying there's a particular tool that I use that is saying the upside is kind of limited, but the downside has tremendous strength based on the MACD and the stochastic. The 120-minute chart, there's that rectangle formation. So as I'm going through these, I'm just going to quickly show you, and then I want to go to our callers because it's very important. I want to show you the Chapman Wave. I and D, this is the Dow, held the nine period moving average, went under it, went above it. That's saying that it's made a lower low and a, and a lower high. It's setting the stage that if the Dow doesn't find the tenacity, the strength to get into the 15,680s and pretty soon 670s, 680s, so that it can test the 15,690s, thereby being able to make the cup formation to get to the 15,721. We might meander here and use up a lot of strength 
And that says maybe we've got a sideways pattern with slightly lower lows, low, lower highs. But if by Thursday afternoon the Dow is up at near the highs, 15,721, that's really going to improve even the weekly charts. So this is quite, a, quite an important period. So you've got the, the S&P is down 475, a little deeper than the Dow at um, 30, uh, let me just say it's 17.63. You've got uh, the comp index down only five at 39.31. Gold is down six at 13.09. Silver's down 0.04 at 21.66. Now, high grade copper, I mentioned to my subscribers this morning, I'm a little concerned with high grade copper at the 325 level. Boy, it's hasn't got much to go before it starts to break down in the weekly charts. I'm watching it closely. You've got uh, bonds down 31, a point actually, at 133, and you've got the dollar up 13 cents. And we're going to go to our first caller. We have got John in Philly. Hi, John. How are you? Hey, Basil. Thanks for taking the call. Uh, My pleasure, as always. I know people are looking forward to your webinar uh, end of the week. Thank you. I hope so. Uh, Basil, uh, before I get to the individual stock, uh, I wanted to just ask a real quick question about the S&P cash. Your Chapman Wave labeling was just marginally different uh, compared to the uh, E-mini futures with, uh, yes. I believe, the daily showing a, um, a peak would be a D slash A. B sla uh, yes. D slash A uh, and a D slash B. E and I'm right. just wondering, are you, are you of the view that this daily is likely to make marginally higher highs over 1775 to complete a leg C and a leg D in the daily? Everything that I'm looking at says that as long as the volatility index remains in the 12s and 13s, which I call buying pressure, as long as you've got those stocks that I identified yesterday in a very elaborate uh, Tiger Technicians Hour when I, I went through the positions that we have, something I never do, but I just had to give a demonstration of how I use the Chapman Wave. It's in real time. It is on live when I get interviewed by Tom. It shows the specs. It shows what I'm anticipating. It shows how important those leg Ds are in the Chapman Wave methodology. A very simple tool. As long as the my Dow Quartet, let me just run them through right now, and that would be, and there we go, GE, which is held very well. It's at a PE right now, but it's still the MACD is good. Stochastic's at 91%. Uh, the weekly chart is looking quite good so far. It's a high-level consolidation, and we are long uh, from my opening call. IBM, which is in the lower range, but trying to bounce, and it looks very poor, both in the weekly and the daily, uh, monthly. But the daily says, hey, if it's stuck between 182 and 170. So it's showing weakness. Triple M is showing, had been showing, um, M, 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 M. There we go. Had been showing tremendous strength, went to peak E, and again has held the nine period moving average. And uh, the weekly and the monthly look really good. And the last one is UTX. Now, as long as my Dow Quartet shows two and a half out of the four stocks acting very well, my bias has to say there is internal strength. Now, I'll be right back. John and Philly's waiting on the line. We're, we're on the line. We've got, we're talking about the S&P. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investor Investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Basil, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. All right, folks, we're back. And uh, that was an answer to John's question, but he was also asking about uh, whoops, that's a C. And that is about Trinity Industries. So, um,. <clears throat> Well, let me just get to that right now. Trinity Industries, I've just done the dating. In fact, I'm going to do these live. This is exactly what we'll be doing during my webinar <clears throat> on. Uh, of course, this is not, I uh, mistyped it. You think after these hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of letters of the ABCD, I would know where the B is on the computer, on the keyboard. But you know what? Habits die hard. I've got a couple of... Um, I've got, I've got a couple of keyboards, so each one's slightly different. Um, here we go. So I'm looking at, this is Trinity Industries, and I'm busy doing my notation, A, F, uh, this is A, B, C, T. It's just amazing how this works. A, A, B, C, D, but you've got to recognize it. A, B, C. See. Okay, I'm ready. Now, Trinity in Industries, the symbol is uh, TRN, and I'm just going to type a Trinity Industries. Let's see what they do. Did I spell it correctly? Subsidiary of Trinity Rail Car Repair has acquired the assets of Seaboard Rail Car Repair. Um, so let me just double check here. Uh, multi-industry multi company that owns a variety of market leading something or other and uh, including crash cushions uh, Trinity Highway products 
Maybe it's the same thing. All right. Well, they do multi-industry company. So I'm not doing the, the fundamentals. I'm doing the technicals. And the monthly chart says from the lowest low bar, this is what I'll be teaching, you scan to the left to go to the lowest low bar. That is on the March of 2009 low of 6037. You count each successively higher peak, and it goes to peak A, or May of 2009, uh, peak B in September of 2009 at 1935. Next month is 1931 is the high, so that counts as a peak, and then it squeaks to a slightly higher at 1964 in November, pulls back a little deeper, and then spikes up to D, pulls back, holds the 9 period moving average, spikes up to E, and it gives you the cell signal to sell mode and it pulls all the way back to start a brand new buy mode at 200 period exponential moving average and it goes peak A, peak B it's in leg C, very strong stochastic in the monthly chart is at 90% and the uh, MACD is still very good so now let's just, I want to scan back a little bit further um, so that we go to Let's just do this. Just to show you how it works, you go to the lowest left side, most obvious low bar. That's the low of um, $9.69 in October of 2002. And you go peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And then it does something very unusual. Just want to double check. 2783, 2783. It goes to a right arm extension at E. And then it makes what I call, this is the perfect A, A, gray A, gray B, and then F carried over from there to a C. And that C fails and it goes to a C minus, but actually it's really an F with a carrot, an inverted carrot right there. And this one here gets, because it did go down below the 200, but that's it. So I guess a down arrow. This is a right arm extension, and you get two carrot tops. And that says you've got that pattern that I call the double top formation. And that double top formation, which I really call the drop bucket pattern, that's my, my CD, that's uh, um, the drop bucket pattern or double top patterns in Chapter 22 out of 29. I think it's 29 chapters. 22 right there. And what does it say? It says that you can make the inverted H pattern like a Y that's backwards, and that double top, especially if accompanied by poor technicals, have a look at this, that double top accompanied by poor technicals can be a very serious top, especially if it's peak F, and if it has a long-legged doji and a candlestick formation I'll be teaching you a lot about coming up on Wednesday. It says that it should, even though it could pull back, it's going to have one last try to hit the body of that candle. That at, opens at 46.55, closes at 46.17. What does it do two months later after the May 2007 high, 49.70? It has two reflex actions, and the one goes right to 47.46, and then plop, it comes all the way down. So it's a brand new buy mode that goes peak A, B, C, D. And no matter how I count this, it goes A, B, we're in leg C. It's very bullish looking out, even though the day, the weekly is saying, be a little careful at 53.06. It's leg D. It could, back to, could pull back to 47.67. We'll finish this up when I get back, as well as... Andy Hecht, the host of the Commodities Hour, recently launched his newsletter service, the Technomental Commodity Report, and only six weeks in, Andy has already recorded a triple-digit winner. Andy advised his subscribers to purchase a long-term call option at 46 cents on July 11th, and then sent out a special update Friday, August 16th, advising his subscribers to close that position at $1.40. That's a 204% profit in just five weeks. The Technomental Commodity Report by Andy Hecht is released each Thursday morning, and right now you can get a month-long free trial to this subscription while locking in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. Andy Hecht has been a commodities trader for over three decades. Let his experience work for you. Sign up for your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today at TFNN.com. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. It's that time of year again, and our semi-annual Tiger Dollar Sale is back. For a limited time only, you can get a 25% bonus on any Tiger Dollar purchase, and included in your purchase, you'll gain access to an exclusive four-hour live trading event with Tom O'Brien on November 19th called Strategies for Trading ETFs, a live trading event. The only way to gain access to this exclusive four-hour workshop with Tom O'Brien, which includes live trading, is by purchasing Tiger Dollars as part of this promotion. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN products and never expire, so now is a perfect time to get your 25% bonus. Don't delay. This will be our last Tiger Dollar promotion in 2013, so act today. For all the details and to get your 25% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase today while gaining access to Tom O'Brien's exclusive four-hour online workshop and live trading session specifically on ETFs, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This segment is brought to you by Harmony Gold. For more information, just click the Harmony Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman just finishing up with Sean. Always get questions during the break, so I uh, usually try to answer them. Uh, give me one second here. I just want to finish this chart. I'll go back to the Trinity chart in a moment. And that was a D's all over the show. A B, C, D. Uh, okay, is that an E? Uh, e, A. F slash B. All right, I'm ready now. So we're going to go back to TRN, which was Trinity, and I just want to finish this one up here. Um, <clears throat> in the daily chart, now look at this. The object of the Chapman wave is to get you from a, a, a lower, the most identifiable lowest low bar to at least four higher peaks. It can go higher, but the object is to get you to, to uh, um, peak D. So it does go to peak D for a low of... 24th of June at 34.57, goes to peak D on the 2nd of August, but then it just holds the 9 period moving average, goes to an E slightly higher at 41.91, pulls back for four sessions, five sessions, turns around and starts leg A, peak A, peak B, peak C, D, and another E. I love when patterns just keep repeating, and it goes a very quick D to E. And that E starts on the 19th of September at 46.51, pulls back in a, in, in a lightning bolt, uh, A to B equals C to D, pulls back, and it starts a brand new ABC, and now it's in leg D, possibly peak D. The MACD's at 90%, sorry, the MACD's very strong, stochastic's at 90%. There are signs they could start a high-level consolidation, oops, a high-level consolidation, but 
There's tremendous support based on the 120-minute chart, which also made a peak D between 50, it's at 53.14, between 52.20 and I would say 51, <clears throat> getting to that candle over there, about 51.60, 51.50 over the next uh, uh, week. That's going to be very important. So the month, the daily is a D, possibly a peak D. The month, the weekly is in leg D, and the monthly is in C. You could call it C slash F. Right now, there's nothing wrong, and I think that it's doing very well. Uh, so, I just wanted to go through that. Then the question I had about G C A G S A T. G S A T is uh, bulletin board stock trading at one point six six five zero. I didn't even look at the price. Now it sees one point six. So, um, most importantly, what I'm looking at is uh, just. I mean, I sorry. I stepped. I stopped it for a second because I have. Uh, the, I've got people asking about the. Uh, about the uh, webinar on Friday. So, yes, I will be doing, I don't, I'm not setting this up to do live trades. That's another thing altogether. To be distracted by live trades means that people aren't actually listening to what I'm saying because they're so busy on the trades. There are people that sometimes take them. I, no, on this particular one, I, I'm, absolutely there will be trades that will be following me expecting a leg D uh, in, say, a two-minute chart or something like that. Uh, if people want to trade them, that's fine. I'm, it's the technique that's most important. We have, I have sessions where we do just that, where we actually trade, but not here. So GSAT um, is a global, global star, Inc. is trading at 1.67. It's just made an F slash B with a stochastic at 64 cents. My preference is to think it as an, as an F. That's number one. And the MACD is just crossing positive. It has supported 1.4835 and resistance somewhere around the 1.8. I would put it at 1.820. That's not the issue. The issue was the count. The wave count has us in leg D. If you're looking at my charts, this is the way I've got it from the low bar of the, 50, uh, the week of the 18th of May at 0.2201. It goes peak A, B, C. It goes to a D on the 14th of June. That's the week of the 14th of 69. 0.69 pulls back to the nine period moving average. So it's a brand new buy mode that goes A, B, C, leg D, spike, gap up to leg D. It will come back at some point and retest the, uh, yeah, and retest the 200 period moving average of 1.3589. But you can see that the fast moving average of the MACD is getting close to crossing positive that says it's really a confirmation and that very soon you can expect some kind of a pullback and in the in the monthly chart it is leg d and there's my notation it restarted from the original uh buy mode of that failed it went a very strong a to b to c minus which happens when you've had a major sell-off and you're coming back again so i hope that helps you <clears throat> and that was i think larry so that's for larry and now let's do this <clears throat> i had another question on veil v-a-l-e um typing it onto the chart by mistake that was yesterday or the day before i never had a chance to get to it Ah, good for the vocal cords there. <clears throat> Vail has made a peak C in the daily, a leg D in the weekly, a leg B <clears throat> in the monthly. Monthly looks terrible. It's got this resistance that it has to break right there. Right there. And it's close to doing it. And what does it say? Is if in the month of November there's a close above one, is it 17 V A L E Valet? Is it 1682 down 25 cents? If it closes above, I would put it to be safe above 1754, somewhere around 1750 to 1770. That'll be very, uh, very strong uh, action on the weekly chart, on the monthly chart for the very first time. It has gone to a leg A before but not to legs B, and this is going to be leg B, and that's very important because the stochastic made a very strong reversal. It's at 31%, and the MACD is just now. Hey, I can't talk about the monthly chart when we're a couple of days into the month, but 
it has for the first time in quite a while crossed positive in the MACD's fast moving average over the slow and 79.19 in the 79 percent in the stochastic weekly MACD is still good now let me just move the chart back <clears throat> You have to look at charts in the longer context. This has just been making H patterns. That H pattern that I talk about in my CD introduced in Chapman methodology, the lowercase h, keeps failing by breaking the left side support. That's very negative. So this is going to be a test. Look how many times it's done that. Oh, my goodness. It just goes on and on. Even the big one over there went and broke it. So this is going to be a test. It's already gotten to a leg D. <clears throat> the quickest leg D in the shortest time. So that says, yes, there is strength, but that strength is going to have to prove itself by what? By breaking decisively into that candle right there, that little bit of a long-legged candle, the week of the 10th of uh, May at 1772 and 1670 was the low. That's the candle you want to see to show and hold to show some strength. So that's veil vale, or valet and... Um, the, the daily is showing a really nice action. It broke out of that V-shaped formation. Um, it's starting to make the exact opposite of the weekly arch formation. You've now got v shape or cup formations, and that's really important. Look how many it's had, and each one's been successful so far. Look at this. Now we've got one that's formed. It's more like a V or two little patterns. And this is, it's broken out, and that's really important. Higher highs and higher lows says you've changed the trend, at least for now. So that's veil or valet. Um, okay, here are a couple of things that I want you to do. Uh, if you are you, a user of um, Dave White's program that he developed for TFNN, and that is um, using the uh, the art of the charts. There's a chart that came up today. I think it was also yesterday. <clears throat> I looked at it closely. BGC. I'm not sure why it's so familiar to me unless it came up for another reason. But I had notated it. <clears throat> and I didn't finish the notation to D uh, yesterday. I, I should have. It was on my mind, but I was so busy with so many other things. Look at this. The power of peak D. <clears throat> Look at this. Let's go to the monthly chart. The monthly chart says, oops, let me not move that. Let me move this here. <clears throat> so that if you're using this particular program, I'll show you how important it is to be able to combine it with whatever else you're using. Why? <clears throat> because if you do that, you'll be able to get the benefit. Look at this. From the low bar, in BGC, which is trading at 20, 20, 28.27, down 6.14. The low bar of, of August of 2002 at $2.10, it went peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. <clears throat> and then there's this thing that I call the instant restart, but it failed to make an instant restart. Instead, <clears throat> I can put a plus on it at the top, and keep that going because it's holding the nine period moving average. I'm going to teach you how the fast moving average. When I when I work with you in this in this webinar, I'm going to show you the key ingredient. Usually, it's like a level two thing that I do the second my second uh, stage of of learning the chapter wave methodology. But because everything I do is just the next step, the next step, I don't jump, I don't leap, I don't do anything. You understand the one step? A slight variation takes you to the next step. That's how I discovered these things. I mean, I didn't wake up one night and say, oh, my God, this thing called an instant restart. I didn't even know what to call it. <clears throat> but this is very important. Walking the nine-period moving average. Now look at this. It's gone to a D, goes to an E goes to an F. So that could be E slash A, F slash B, but there's no sign yet of weakness in the fast-moving average, and then suddenly it goes to the G. That's a right arm extension because the stochastic had already started to fail, and it pulls back sharply, and then it goes peak A, B, C, D. <clears throat> That's how important the Ds are. Look at that pullback, and now it's gone A, B, C, and it's starting to fail. That's the monthly. Look at the weekly. So what I'm saying is if you have these programs, these different programs like the, the art of the charts, look how important this all could be. You've got an A. <clears throat> I think this is the one that's, that started off A, B, and then I went to C, 
One, I'm going to teach about the C1 and C2, how it could be treated in certain circumstances as an unofficial top. Then it starts a brand new ABCD weekly chart. ABCD goes to the slight E, pulls back. ABCD, and today it plunges from the doji candle of last week. It goes down to 28.25. It breaks the potential rectangle formation. This is really important action. That's how you can use these peak Ds. What did the daily do? It went peak ABCD, and then a little E pulls back in August. And then it goes ABCD again and pulls back on the, on the, on the, <clears throat> right there. This is on the 19th of September. And then it goes peak A, B, C, D. And what does it do right there? Yesterday's candle on the 4th of um, November goes to 34.61. Plop. One, two, three. Three patterns that took you to D. One also took you to E, but it certainly took you to D. Kaplop. And that was a great pick in the, in the, art, of, uh, the art of the charts. Um, that software package available at TFNN where Dave White used Tom O'Brien's uh, methodology and his own to develop this and to get the Gartneys, etc. So uh, <clears throat> now, let's uh, question the Dan. Hertz, HTC. You remember I had this in my, for my opening call for subscribers? We had huge gains in Hertz. We took a <clears throat> um, 42% gain and then a 64% gain on the, on, on the, on the rest of the, the portion sold. We we bought it in, we bought in at fourteen dollars and ninety cents. I didn't like the action in the daily and the weekly charts when we were making the peak C in the monthly. So at twenty four fifty we got out. It went a little higher, went to twenty seven fifty. But most importantly, the daily chart was giving me all the signs over there that peak F that that was a top of significance. It dropped to twenty two, had a sudden spiral up to a peak D again in at twenty seven seventy five. We were out of it. It had a cup formation. That's the exact pattern I was talking to you now. The drop bucket pattern, cup double top formation, fails at a peak B minus because it didn't go above twenty seven seventy five. Pulls back has another peak A B C D. Then it goes to an E today. It's trading at $20.15, down 15%. Uh, we were out of it. We got out because everything that we wanted was there, and that was a really nice trade and long-term trade as well, although we did have some smaller positions that we used. So um, another question I had is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and let me just, oh, let's go to our next caller. We've got Mohammed in Glendale. Hi, Mohammed. How are you? Whoops. You there? Hello, Basil. Yes, I'm yes, here. Yes, hi, Mohammed. How are you doing? How are you doing, Basil? Thanks for taking my I'm call. Well, thank, I'm well, thank you. Um, so, it's very interesting. We're going to be looking at uh, CMG. Okay. So now I'm going to make a little change. So every once in a while we get the peak D. Everything looks like like it's like it's going to pull back. What does it do? It stops at the night period moving average, and then essentially recycles to the upside. One, two, three. That did it in four bars, folks. We were talking about CMG Chipotle Mexican Grill, which I refused to short. Since we had a whole bunch of shorts, very tiny one and two point losses, we had once made almost a hundred points on it. But you know what? I think it still has room to go on the upside right now, and we're going to be looking at it for Muhammad. It's trading at 539, up 457, CMG. Basil Chapman has just announced that he will be hosting a one-day online master trader class. Friday, November 8th, Basil Chapman will teach you the essential fundamentals he uses when trading the market with his Chapman Wave methodology. Included in this full-day online master trader class is one month of Basil's daily newsletter service, The Opening Call, a $128 value, as well as a copy of his CD book, Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology, which usually sells for $249. Join Basil Chapman for this powerful one-day online master trader class Friday, November 8th, which will be archived if you can't attend live, where he'll give you a complete understanding of the Chapman Wave methodology and how to apply it to profitably trade any market in any time frame. For all the details and to reserve your spot while taking advantage of early bird pricing and saving $200 off the regular price, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.
Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to The Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. Let me just show you something here. We're on with Muhammad. Muhammad, do you have a position in CMG? No, I don't. Okay. Then this is what I'm thinking right now. Um... I'm, I'm going to discuss something that is a little different to what I was going to discuss on the program today. I was actually going to leave it for tomorrow, but I think I'll start it off today. If the Dow does not break down um, today or tomorrow, but instead closes up maybe 30 points or so, and uh, at the same time, if we're looking at the... Uh, leadership being very, very selective, but still there, and CMG is in the leadership position, I have to talk about something that I was thinking would come about later on, but it might be starting as we speak, and I just, I won't know. I'm, I'm looking at so many different things that are giving me clues to the fact that it's not just internal strength showing up, it is something more than internal strength. There is actual buying intensity, um, even though the, the market is becoming less and less focused. Now, let me just do this quickly because we'll run out of time. In the 120-minute chart, you've gone peak A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D, and once again A, B, C, D. And right now, it's got a very unusual chart pattern because it's accelerated higher. This is A, uh, just do it quickly, A, B, C in the 120-minute chart, D, E, then A, B, C, D. 
E, and now it's an A, B, C. So what we've got is a whole bunch of these, and it's in late C, and it's still very positive in the 120-minute chart and the um, daily. I'm going to suggest to you something. Now, would you use options, or would you just go into the stock? Go into the stock itself. Okay. Here's my suggestion. I know that you watch this really closely. I have a feeling that CMG is going to try for 546 to 552. That's... That's if this acceleration phase is correct. If that's the case, I'm going to suggest you start a position right now at $540, but you have a stop of about $4. That should be enough because if it's going to work, it's going to work by the end of the day. What I'm going to suggest is that as it rallies, if it gets to 542 put in a trading stop of minus 2 from your, your position. Every four points, you want to use a trading stop let me let me do this. At 5:42, you want a trading stop of 5:38. At 5:44, you want a trading stop of your entry point, and then you have a four-point trading stop and see where that goes. And I'll explain to you why. From the chart pattern that's unfolding, there is a squeeze going on in CMG, and I think it could go quite a bit higher. So that's my recommendation, and I'll be watching it for the next couple of days. But that that's what I'm looking at. The stochastics at 96% is still strong. This is an acceleration phase it could end ugly but right now it's accelerating i hope that helps you yes it did thank you so much Basil. thank you very much for calling so folks let's do this um i, I just want to quickly review you've got the you've got um all these different stocks that i've been talking about that have made d's the, the dow has made a pd and it's pulled back this is the longest pullback it's had from pd so please go to the front page of tfnn this is your opportunity you can buy your tiger dollars not only will you get my webinar on Friday with a huge discount, you'll actually be making money. You'll have Tiger Dollars left if you want to do that. This is the last day of the special to save from the, the, the price of seven ninety five to five ninety five. That's a huge discount. <laughs> not only that, you get the Tiger discount, you get the $249 CD that I've been talking about all the time, and you get my $128 monthly report and this month has been a fantastic month for my subscribers. Uh, I hope it keeps going that way. We'll see. But please check it out. This is the last day for the special. I've got this coming up on Friday all day. Uh, a perfect timing for something like that. Stay tuned, folks. You've got uh, Tuesday. Yep, you've got the options out coming up. Great program. And I'll be back uh, with Tom this afternoon at 420. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for.